My name is Rob Chilcott. I'm Professor of Toxicology at the Department of Pharmacy and my main interests are research into the toxicological sciences. We're currently developing three main areas of research which are addressing both short-term health needs and long-term health needs, developing diagnostic systems which will allow us to address illnesses and exposure to chemicals at a very early stage. Part of our work is looking at improving the response of the emergency services to incidents where somebody has accidentally or deliberately released some toxic materials. A main part of that is looking at how we can improve the clinical outcomes of that initial exposure by improving, for example, decontamination techniques. Some of the research that we do involves handling quite toxic chemicals. Obviously, with a, a human exposure, these would result in some quite severe health effects. So we've developed a range of techniques that we can use in the laboratory to make sure that we can remove these chemicals from the skin and the hair of individuals. Those studies then follow through into human volunteer studies where we use obviously safe chemicals and we can test that the processes that we develop are actually very effective. These then feed into national policies. One thing that we've got a keen interest in at the moment is something called pupillometry. Now this is basically looking at the um, diameter of the pupil. We've been using this to try and assess how well an instrument can actually detect exposure to poisons. In 10 years time, we'd like to be in a position where we have instruments available, um, which you can just touch the skin with, and they would give you an indication of your general state of health. And of course, it would hopefully flush up warnings if it thought that you were at risk of diabetes or, or Alzheimer's disease. I think ultimately, we, we'd like to be in a position in the future where we have a range of different devices uh, that allows us to very easily and quickly diagnose diseases at a very early stage and of course hopefully this will help to save lives.